Hi and welcome to Painting in the Shed. Uh, thanks for watching the other videos. And on this video, I'm going to show you how I painted this picture here uh, called uh, "Don't Turn Away." Yeah, "Don't Turn Away." That's what I called it. Um, it's an oil painting on a 36 by 24 inch canvas. Um, it's an idea I took my friend out Emily and did lots of different photographs with her um, in some caves in Kimber uh, in the West Midlands, and um, there's some amazing caves there. And I thought it wouldn't be great to have. Um, a person standing in those, that's the first thing I had so I took that idea and then I continued it as I painted it I started thinking about different things I would add to the painting and give it some sort of story I'll tell you more about it afterwards but anyway this is me painting the picture okay so those are all the colours you need please pause that if you want to look at that again there's quite a lot of colours in this painting because I did the face here and all the background as well uh, I've done faces on some of my other videos but you see I started with the mid-tone and the darker areas here and then I started adding um, the highlights onto the face here and um, I started with the face because this is the most important part if this doesn't work the rest of the painting doesn't really work so I used a photograph that I took of my friend Emily and uh, really spent uh, probably a day just trying to get the face right and um, the rest of her body as well see the white here once you've got the dark patches on the white kind of mixes in with the darker tones and you start getting the mid some of the mid tones as well this is uh, the way that I paint with oils uh, when I'm doing faces. I start with the, um, the darks and the mid-tones and then put the highlights on afterwards and sort of blend in the rest of them. And you can see here the drawing. I've done all the drawing beforehand with the background and the face. and I just spent my time on the face really. The rest of the background didn't take as long. Um, using quite a detailed brush here, quite a small um, oil brush. Uh, and I started putting in the background because that helps you get the outline of the figure. And you see here I left a little gap where the highlights, where the light will be hitting the side of the figure. Now you can see I'm painting over a picture here, this is an acrylic painting underneath that I did years ago and um, decided to paint over it. Um, a lot of the tones here are quite muted, uh, colours, sorry, are quite muted, so there's a lot of grey in this painting. Um, so I'm just using different photographs, one of Emily and one of, uh, wow, this is another photograph of my friend Freddie. Um, I took a photograph of him uh, acting in a play and it was perfect pose and you see here I wanted him blended in with the light in the background so it's just grey, it's just the blue, the umber and the white and um, just um, put him in first and then added in the background and went over him as well slightly with the, with the grey mixture so that he just blended off into the background and the outline, the pencil drawing sort of came off with the paint and mixed in so he, I didn't want him to stand out too much really, I wanted to focus to be on the main figure uh, is using more a white here on the on the light behind her face, and you see it's quite useful having this colour in the background. So painting over a picture is quite a good idea because you get this nice, rich, warm tone underneath, which actually um, comes through in a lot of the painting, and it's great. Uh, it's much easier than a blank canvas. Um, on the floor, I use brush strokes from left to right, sort of horizontal brush strokes. That's um, and then more vertical ones on the on the rocks and stuff in the background. This is me just blocking in some of the black areas. Um, even on the black areas there's a lot of texture and tones here, you see it took a long time to do that. So um, yeah, that's the finished result. Well thanks for watching, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I call it Don't Turn, Turn Away because she's obviously turning away from um, her love who's up here in the top of the painting and um, it's kind of sad, but I, I feel like um, a lot of people have lost their way uh, at the moment, and sort of, you know, I just I just want to show that through a painting, some sort of story through it. So, you know, if you have any feedback for this, um, I'd love to hear about it. Um, so, I'd also like to ask my friend Jim Pooley what he thinks about it. He's the guy that did the music for these videos. Hello, it's Jim taking another look at one of Ollie's paintings. What a wonderful couple of days it's been. I mean, we've had Andy Murray winning uh, on Sunday, the Lions winning the day before. We've got England to look forward to uh, as they play the Australia uh, in the cricket on Thursday. So uh, yeah, but like all things, it must come to an end. And that means I've got to start reviewing Ollie's artwork again. Uh, he sent me a picture today and to be honest, uh, I mean, it looks quite sort of grey, 
you know, damp, a bit miserable. Not quite sure what's going on, to be honest. Uh, but the one thing that really, I suppose, annoyed me a bit was the fact that on the left-hand side, a third of the picture is black. Now, if I buy a picture, I, I want the whole thing covered, you know, but, you know, that might be just me. I mean, having said that, though, uh, I don't know how these modern artists get away with it, to be honest. So, um, so yeah, so at least he's given this sort of two-thirds of a picture painted, so, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get back to having a cup of tea, and, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have something else maybe a bit more bright and interesting to look at very soon. Talking of sport, Jim, I've taken up a sport. This one's quite an easy sport. Yeah, thanks, Jim. But this painting, I think, I think means a bit more than that. And uh, hopefully, it's not too dark and damp and dreary and whatever Jim said. Um, I hope you like it. If you want to purchase this painting, please contact me and um, through Facebook page on the Pengilly or my website oliverpengilly.co.uk or uh, the YouTube channel here um, please yeah subscribe to these videos if you want to see more of them and um, it's so hot here in England it's crazy but which is not right for England it should be wet but it's been really dry and hot so I've been outside to, you know enjoying that and um, yeah but more videos soon and uh, thanks again for watching bye <laughs>